What's good, Wizards fans? I uh, just want to make a video, of course, about the Summer League last or yesterday. Uh, this was Corey Kispert's best game by far. I am intrigued. I am excited to see him play a lot better than what he did the first games. And it's not all his fault. You know, guys just were not moving the ball and passing the ball at all. Uh, he said it himself in the interview. He said he was more comfortable and that the guys uh, trusted each other more and they were unselfish. You know, they talked about unselfishness and guys were unselfish yesterday. They passed the ball more and they played really, really well on the defensive end too. But I love what Corey Kisper did. He he attacked closeouts. He hit four threes. But not only that, he took it to the basket too. He's not a one-dimensional guy. He's not like a Kyle Korver or just a Joe Harris or just a, um, a, a Davies Bertans or somebody who's just going to sit in the corner or just move around and shoot threes. He can do more. He can get to the cup and finish. He had an and one as well. Um, he went strong to the basket. Um, that's what I love. He put the ball on the floor. He did a behind the back move. So he's capable of doing more than just shooting threes. And that's what I like about him. And he, he, uh, he gives defensive effort as well. You know, he's been diving on the floor for loose basketballs. Um, that's what I love seeing from him. So, and he's a solid rebounder for his size too. He's athletic than what people, uh, more than what people give him credit for. Like I said before, he's done, he's had some nice dunks in college. Uh, you look at the shooting stats, he, he's shot the ball well. I mean, 18 points and uh, seven for 12 from the field, four for seven from the three point line. He hit that first three pointer and that was just a confidence builder for him. And seeing that first shot go down was just a huge uh, confidence builder for him. So he finished the night with four threes, did not get to the free throw line. Actually, he did not have an one. I thought he had an and one. I could have sworn he had an and one, uh, but it says zero for zero from the free throw line. I don't think that's true, uh, but he had two blocks. He had two blocks. That surprised me a little bit too. Um, two blocks, three boards. Uh, seven for 12 from the field and four for first seven from the three-point lines. I thought he played pretty well. Um, then you look at Isaiah Ty, 8.7 boards, almost had a double-double, and uh, was plus 10 on the floor with plus minus two for six from the three-point line, three for nine from the field. So he didn't shoot the ball well, Isaiah Ty, but he contributed in different ways. He did hit two threes, and uh, he made a nice uh, running layup as well. So he had eight points and seven boards. It's pretty solid. Um, good effort defensively. Let me see if he got any blocks. He had two blocks. Yeah, he's been a good shot blocker so far. He's 6'10", so he's tall as crap. And uh, I got to give a shout out to Echinique. He played well. He had a nice block and then threw the basketball off, off of somebody's head. Uh, Jordan Nwuru. I probably butchered that guy's name. But Echinique, the big man, he played pretty well. He was good finishing around the rim. And he hit a three off the backboard, which was lucky. But he still played pretty well. He's playing really well before he got hurt. He had a sprained ankle. Uh, who else played pretty well? Austin Hollins. He's played pretty well so far. Uh, Mason Jones played well, and Jordan Goodwin played well. He was playing really well defensively. He had a couple steals, got a couple of deflections, and uh, he had a dunk. He had a fast break dunk, too, so he played pretty well. The team just look, looked a lot better. They looked a lot better than they did in the first two games. They do play the Pacers um, today at 3 o'clock. That was the game that got rescheduled, um, so we will, we will be playing them. Oh, Caleb Holmes. How, how could I forget about Caleb Holmes? Almost forgot to talk about Caleb, who who really has looked the best so far on the team. He's he's looked the best so far, in my opinion. I think he looks the most um, NBA ready out of all the guys. He had 15 points, eight boards, and five assists. So he had a 5-5-5 five, five, five game. Uh, it was a plus seven on the court, too. And he didn't shoot the ball well. He was seven for 16, one for six from the three. But the guy can dribble. He can shoot. He can rebound. Uh, I think he can defend a little bit, too. Uh, he looks for teammates. So the guy's a baller. I mean, he's a point forward. Like, he can really bring the ball up. He's smooth, step back. He's had a nice step back on Theo Pinson, who, who used to go to North Carolina. Uh, Caleb Holmes, he played pretty. And he had a nice putback. He missed his own layup, gets the ball back, and just dunks it down. I mean, he played pretty well. I like what I see from him. He's a guy that probably will be on the Capital City go-go. Um, but I would like to see him get a spot on the roster. If we if we could, he would be another forward on the world. We have a lot of forwards on the team. But he's a guy that can do more. He can create a shot for himself off the dribble, can shoot threes. He's a guy that went to Liberty. And uh, he was on that Liberty team that upset at Mississippi State in the first round a couple years ago. They, Liberty was a 12th seed. He dropped 30 points in that game in the first round to beat uh, Mississippi State. So I had to look that up because I was like, Caleb Holmes, you know, an undrafted guy. And I didn't really know much about him. But the guy is a hooper. He can bowl, man. I like him a lot. Uh, Rethan May is. I give him some credit, too. He has six points. He played pretty well, too. He's been a, he's been a solid point guard for the Washington Wizards. And uh, that's about it for, for the summer league game. But I just had to give some praise to Corey Kisper because he looked did not look good those first two games. Not all of it was his fault, but he did not look good at all. He was missing threes, went one for eight from the three-point line one, one game and just did not look confident out there. He was just more aggressive and um, played with the flow in the offense, and other guys helped him out too. So 
for him, the way he plays, he need he needs other guys to help him out. Not only himself to be aggressive, but he needs a point guard out there, a shooting guard, somebody else who's going to look for him and pass him the basketball. And um, he creates floor spacing. That's what he does. So um, we do, they do, they do, we do play the Pacers tonight with Chris Duarte. So that would be a good matchup. And they have Isaiah Jackson as well, the big man uh, from from Kentucky. Uh, basically, essentially, he got traded for Aaron Holiday and that Pacers pick and Isaiah Todd. So we'll see how these guys uh, do tonight. So. All right, you guys, you guys have a good one. Peace.